Hello YouTubers. Gonna be trying out the Empower Mark II chisel and planer blade sharpener for the first time. And I got an old beat up Ace Hardware chisel and uh I'll show you something on the uh sharpener. Kinda looks like Chinese or hieroglyphics there. Uh, next to the number, but that relates to the angle of the stone. You can see one side is slightly, the leg there is slightly taller than the other. And no explanation in there. Plus two and a half degrees, minus two and a half degrees. I suppose that. Depends on which way it's angled, but all right, that's the way it's in. Uh, if I rotate it, you can see it changes the angle that this this leg's longer than that leg. So to go with one, according to the directions, that's 25 degree angle, 25 degrees. You want the thicker end out, so. Like so. And uh, this dovetail on the bottom. I don't know how well that's going to turn out. Rides in the dovetail in the track here. And this is old Ace hardware beat me up. <laughs> throw me out <laughs> bang on everything chisel um, we didn't frame here uh, all right you can see she's kind of chewed up yeah I've done got an old house built in the 20s like petrified rock. Let's see a little, little daylight. So I'd have to have a backlight for, in order for you to see that. But you can see gouged up. There we go. Still pretty much square. Got some gouges we're going to try and take out. Oops. Sorry, kick the tripod. We're going to darken the end of our chisel with the Sharpie so we can identify where the chisel's hitting. Okay, this little plate here screws in and out. This is a, there's a float. You want to keep the dovetails matched. Push your chisel in. Well, first we'll flatten our back. Pressure centralized and even. That seems to look pretty good. Put your chisel in until it makes contact. I have the 100 grit in. Hitting up top, 
and a little bit well at the very, very tip might have a little bit of a concave situation going on This may take a while to get to 25 degrees. I say you can. Uh, Use the stones dry, but you have to keep the uh, track oiled. Yeah, I switched over to the uh, second position, moved the stone over. It wasn't getting all the way out to the tip. And I'm at 27 and a half degrees now. You can kind of see a line along there. But I don't know how well this is going to turn up, but you can still see. Kind of chunky. See what works better, light background or or dark background. A 
That's the back side. Like I said, this ain't the best, cleanest chisel that lays in the toolbox in my unheated garage. Just cheapo Ace Hardware chisel. Nothing fancy. And Might go back and go back to the 25. Get the whole thing at 25 degrees or pretty beat up. Still see Nick's in the end. Still got some more to take off. I don't have a slow speed grinder to or a jig to regrind on my bench grinder to recut the tip. I'm sure with a brand new chisel without gouges in it, this would go a lot easier. This isn't hard, just a little tedious. see I had to move quite a bit of material <laughs> with the 100 grit keep you in frame uh, it looks like I have a little hollow spot on the back But I did end up getting a burr and uh, deburring it. And I started with the 25 and only cut to about there. I went to 27 and a half. It cut to about there. Then I switched to 30. And uh, then I went back to the 27 and a half to cut back some more. So now I'll go through the successive grades um, all the way up to 1,000. I'll get the shavings cleaned off and repeat the steps. Uh, probably just stick with the uh, 30 degree angle. It, I don't know if you can see that line. Kind of hurt. 
hard to pick it up. But you can see the scratch marks from the hunter grit. But I had a lot of material to remove. There was one slight right on the edge there. I mean, just so small, smaller than the width of a hair. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera or not. Uh, you can kind of see it. Right where my fingernail is. But for as beat up as this was, I'm happy with it so far. So I'll switch grades. And uh, come back later. Okay, I went through all the grits. The 100. The 220. fifty, And they say you can clean this up, the stones up with warm soap and water. And then there's that little plastic thing. I guess it acts like a eraser. 600. And... 1200 and one thing there's this little screw down here you can see it on, on the camera for clamping this oops sorry get tripod again <laughs> uh, for clamping this down I don't know if you can see that but it kind of rides up and uh, it'll hit the stone and plus uh, your chisel can get out of skew. So you kind of got to keep that push down and your chisel at the same time. Here's the end result after the 1200. I could have went a little longer with it. Uh, I started with the 25 degree. It was only hitting the top half. It would have taken a tremendously long time to go all over the end. So I switched to the 27 and a half. You can see the lines of demarcation there. And then I switched to the 30. Got a nice burr and then uh, deburred. You can see on the back there is a slight hollow spot in the back there. But brought a piece of scrap wood out from the garage. We'll uh, get this out of the way. Just some pine. Let's see how she does. Yeah, not bad. I mean, not super, super duper sharp, but oh, mm -hmm. not bad. I mean, for as bad as it was, <laughs> for no cheap Ace hardware. But there you go, that's the Mark II uh, M Power. I guess the M stands for manual. <laughs> uh, so far, I'm, I'm somewhat pleased with it. I uh, wanted to try it on this uh, old chisel first. And uh, before I put my Stanley Sweethearts on it. So, appreciate you watching. Sorry for uh, total time, uh, probably two hours, maybe a little more. I took a few breaks here and there in between, but that's that. But you saw how bad it was, and I spent a really long time on the 100 trying to get those gouges out. So thanks again for watching.
Have a good night, day, or whatever time of the day it is for you.